Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm looking at some notebooks and they are from this brand. This is Any Day Now. This is a brand that is associated with the Australian retailer Milligram uh, and is being sold uh, through their stores online and through um, a few other places. So I'm going to talk about these notebooks. This is the A5. Both of these are the roll, uh, ruled version. I'm going to give a very brief breakdown but the main thing I wanted to do today is talk about the paper because it is promoted as fountain pen friendly and that is what I am most interested in. So I have this version as which is the classic monochrome in the A5 and then I have this which is the Spiral Brights B5 notebook as you can see this is a spiral bound as opposed to the uh, A5 being this sort of like more open binding. So I, as I said I'm going to give very brief rundown of these notebooks uh, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about the paper. Now this is very familiar this is a lot like uh, the original Studio Milligram uh, notebooks that they produced which I really love and I've used a lot for my own sort of work. Um, and I enjoyed the paper. I've never really profiled them that much, uh, but we're gonna talk about this. So this is any day now, Spiral Bright, 7.5 millimeter ruled um, B5 notebook with 192 pages. And then on the back of the belly band, we get a little bit more information. So I said it's 7.5 millimeter ruled, 192 pages, note maker paper at 80 GSM, fountain pen friendly, designed in Australia, FSC sheets, and that's got here, designed by any day now, made in Taiwan, and it gives some information about uh, the website. Now, it does say that the cover is 05 recyclable, uh, and the paper is 22 recyclable, and then uh, it says just remove the elastic and spiral before recycling. This is a brand that uh, is very conscious of things being recyclable. So, a very quick rundown of this one. It's a big spiral bound. There's a number of different color finishes you can get with these two-tone uh, colors with a accent elastic band. On the side there it says, and so it begins, and then 7.5 mil ruled B5 notebook. The back is the same sort of color and just says any day now. Big red, uh, blue, sorry, elastic band. Now if we open up uh, to the back, we get some very, very uh, cool um, end papers. And it says here, Note Maker Paper. So Note Maker was the original name of Milligram. Um, so possibly some connection there. Uh, Note Maker Paper has been tested by paper lovers to ensure it provides the perfect partnership with your writing instruments of choice, whether this be fountain pens, roller balls, or ballpoints. Each sheet is lightweight with an ultra smooth finish to provide the ultimate writing experience, produced in small batches to deliver the highest level of quality. Note Maker Paper is FSC certified and is 100% recyclable. So FSC certified is just a Forest Stewardship uh, Council certified, basically meaning that uh, the practices are sustainable. We also have a little flap here, uh, like in place of an end pocket, to allow you to uh, keep the um, you know little extra piece of paper and things in there. Uh, at the front, we get the same sort of design on the end paper. And then a little sort of, I suppose, a name page. And then we get straight into uh, the actual pages themselves, which have a date section at the top, a header section, and then lines. There's no page numbers uh, or anything, no indexes, nothing like that. Uh, the paper is off-white. If you look at the belly band here, which is white, you can see it's like a cream ivory sort of color. Um, it's a nice paper. It's paper I've been using uh, for a while. Uh, it's made in, paper is, is uh, made in Taiwan. Uh, and I, it, I think it performs very, very nicely. So as you can see in the back here, I've done a range of uh, writing tests on this paper. But before we look at that in more detail, I just want to show you the A5 notebook. So here is the A5 notebook. It's This is the monochrome version. There is a range of colored versions similar to the B5. As I said, it's got this open binding, which helps it lay flat. Uh, and it's got a very sort of, um, it's got a little fabric tag there on the side. On the belly band, it says four bright sparks, gives the same information, 0. Or 7.5 millimeter ruled, 192 pages, note maker paper, 80 GSM, fountain pen friendly, designed in Australia and you know FSC sheets. All the same information, it's got a plastic, these books have a plastic coating on the cover, which they just describe as making it like splash proof. So I'm gonna take this uh, belly band off here and uh, just see that this does lay beautifully flat. Um, that binding allows for that. This would be great in a notebook cover in that way, the fact that the spine is 
sort of open, um, but it's strong enough and it's robust enough with that sort of very firm cover that uh, I think it'll be, you know, sort of quite fine without one. Monochrome, you know, end papers here, then the same name page, and then straight into the pages of the book. At the end, same thing, end page, information about the paper, and a little uh, paper flap there on the back. So it's a very simple notebook with nice rounded corners. It's strong, it's robust. This elastic feels great. Uh, there's no ribbons or anything like that. They're kind of no frills and they come in at a fairly decent price point, around 30 Australian dollars, um, which is you know very competitive alongside notebooks of similar uh, page number and quality of paper. I like the build quality of this. I would, you know, I'd love to see them do versions that don't have such a plasticky cover or maybe some like linen cover sort of designs or, you know, more hard bound ones with this paper. Uh, Milligram used to have a range of notebooks that uh, were beautiful linen bound notebooks and I miss those quite a lot. Um, but yes, this is very nice. It's a really nice sort of everyday notebook and at this price point and with the durability of this, um, I think it'll last a, quite a while and, uh, you know, sort of stand up to quite a lot of abuse. Now let's have a look at that paper. Okay, to look at the paper, I brought you in a little closer so we can look at it in a bit more detail. So at any day now, B5, notebook, and this is the ink test. So I've written on here with Ackermann, number eight, deep dune water, blau, uh, you know, Visconti Homo sapiens fine, which is a very wet pen, Rora und Klingners, Alt Bordeaux, in a uh, medium uh, pen from, nib from Just Turnings, which is a Yovo nib. Uh, Pelican Edelstein uh, Moonstone in another medium from Wancha. And then I've got the Pilot E95S with Bungbox Lamont, which uh, once again actually lays down quite a nice amount of ink. Then a very wet pen, the Visconti uh, Van Gogh uh, medium nib with Visconti Starry Night. You can see hits of sheen uh, on uh, that ink there. Then I've got a couple of noodle, Noodlers inks, Noodlers Javago in an Endless Creator Fine Nib, and then Noodlers Base State Blue in a Jinhao 992 with a fine nib. And for each of those, I've done like also a little swatch and then a smear just to show the quality is paper. Things like Rodia and Clairefontaine, which are coated papers, the ink dries slower, so you get a bit more smear. This isn't a coated paper, but it is quite smooth. There's a little... I'd say it's smooth. I wouldn't say ultra smooth. I'd say it's smooth, but it's got a little bit of truth on it. So you definitely feel that you're writing. But as you can see, these inks all uh, kind of, you know, take a little bit to dry and, you know, are smearing quite easily. Then on the bottom half of the page, I've written with a Pentel Energel 7, a, a Pilot G2 uh, 7, a Sharpie Fine Liner. That's not the permanent marker. That's just the, uh, you know, the regular sharp Fine Liner. A Bic Ballpoint. A pilot friction, and then I've done a little rub out of that, which you see works nicely. Highlighter over a ballpoint pen. Then a Tombow Mono 2B pencil uh, with a very simple light erase, and you can see most of it comes up. There's just a little bit of, you know, remnant there. And then I've done a couple of other things. So I've taken one of those Octopus Fluids Write and Draw inks, which are quite sort of, not aggressive, but they, they're, you know, they're, they're quite strong inks. Uh, and I've done a little drawing of cactus there. Uh, I've then done a swatch of Monteverde California Teal, which is a high sheening ink. And uh, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but there's like a halo sheen around it. So it's not that blanket sheen, but we are getting hits of sheen. Then uh, Robert Oster's, uh, uh, Robert Oster and Pole Predictions, you know, collaborative ink blue addiction. Um, I just hit this with a water, I did a couple of triangles and I hit it with a water brush pen and it moved around a lot. Uh, so it, it, the ink is sitting on top of the paper. If it's a super absorbent paper, uh, it's really hard to move it around with a water brush pen. Um, whereas in this, it's it's sitting right on the top there and then with a, just put some water down on that and then dabbed it up with some paper towel. You can see it picked up a lot of the, uh, a lot of the ink. So what that shows me is that firstly on the front side, we're getting quite a decent performance. There's no feathering. We're getting a bit of sheen. So it's both fountain pen friendly and pa fountain pen ink flattering. Like for instance, this deep June water blau, the Ackermann ink, I think looks better on here than a lot of other papers. I think we get more of the tealy blue coming out, which I really enjoy. We're getting nice shading. Um, and yeah, as I said, it's not feathering and all the ballpoints and everything write on there quite well. The eraser worked, the highlighter, you know, it's it's all doing what it should do. In terms of this stuff, we get a little bit of a, um, a faded out color there with the octopus fluids ink. 
um, and not a heap of sheen and of course the ink does move around but also what is very important is how the paper responds on the reverse side and so if we look at the reverse side first thing you see is that we do get quite a lot of ghosting ghosting is uh, being able to see through the page see the ink through but not bleed through we're not getting a whole lot of bleed there's a couple of spots base state blue bleeds through a tiny bit there's a couple of spots here where the bung box ink comes through from the pilot e95s but the heavy visconti pens um aren't necessarily coming through you know there's nothing from the nothing really from the noodles even base state blues performing fairly well and if we look further down the page where i put water down or big swatches a little bit has come through because the water is absorbing through the paper but even the Sharpie is performing relatively well in comparison to some other papers. So in terms of bleed, it's going okay. In terms of see-through, it is there is quite a lot. It performs, I would say, similarly to something like a Leuchtturm paper. Uh, and this is 80 GSM, so it's not super lightweight, um, and it's a nice paper, and it's nice to write on, and for the most part, as you can see, you're not going to get bleed through, but is that okay for you in terms of ghosting to be able to write on both sides? For me, I can handle that. For some people, that might be just a bit too much. Um, if you need paper that isn't going to show through, some of that Clairefontaine paper performs a little bit better. Midori can sometimes perform a bit better. There's a number of brands. Regalia paper performs really well with show through. So this note maker paper from Taiwan that um, Any Day Now and Studio Milligram have used, it performs well. Um, in terms of, as I said, in terms of bleed, it's pretty good. Um, I've seen, I've definitely seen worse from, uh, you know, from more expensive brands of paper. So what I love about these notebooks is that they're affordable. They're now available. Um, whether When they're in stock, they're available, I should say. So, um, you know, check them out. If you're, particularly if you're in Australia, check them out to see what they're about. This B5 size is really great. Um, it's a really handy size, sort of just smaller than A4, so it fits nicely in amongst things in your bag. B5 is my favorite size of notebook. And as I said, I've used, been using these in the Studio Milligram uh, versions for quite a while uh, at this size uh, because they're really handy. For me as a, as a singer, I write out my lyrics to help learn them. Really handy in that respect. So I hope you found this video interesting and useful. Um, and I'm glad to be able to show some interesting notebooks uh, to you from any day now available through Milligram uh, stores here in Australia and online. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, hit the notifications button, and uh, please get in touch if there's a way you'd like to support the channel, either by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review. I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your notebooks, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.